referring to live stream the meeting. Setting up your meeting. Can't see or the you top want of my to head, record it, too, won't you? Yeah, let's record. Live stream the meeting. There we are. Oh, we are we on? Setting up your meeting. It says meeting is now streaming live on YouTube. So go ahead. All right. Okay. A little technical difficulties there, but they're behind us, I believe. And welcome everyone to our April 21st, 2024 edition of Open Mic America. I'm Rich Fassler, your MC for tonight's show. And I'm joined by Stuart Campbell, our interviewer and Capo Dave Williams, our founder, luthier of Dandy Guitars, and tonight's show engineer. Our mission is to support your local open mics, where you can go in person to see songwriters performing their original music. Tonight, thanks to Zoom technology, we can travel all around the country and see those same performers in their own homes. Without gimmicks and frills, this is the beating heart of American music, the tapestry of story and song that has been weaving us together for generations. So hey, get comfortable and I'm going to go and introduce tonight's performers. By the way, you can find links to their work on our website and on this YouTube video. So tonight we have New Middle Class from Yorktown Heights, New York, Tim Smith from Chapel Hill, North Carolina, Ellis Ralph, Fayetteville, Arkansas, Marjorie Winter, Ashland, Oregon, Judy Neal, also from Fayetteville, Arkansas. Hank Stone, each, <laughs> I, I can get the easy words, I thought, oh, East Patchogue, New York. The Fretbenders from Chester, New Hampshire. So let's get started. Our first performance is from New Middle Class in uh, Yorktown Heights, New York. They'll be performing at a dinner and concert at the JCC in Sherman, uh, Connecticut on Friday, May 10th. They also perform regularly at the Music Makers Open Mic, both virtually and in person, in uh, Peekskill, New York. And you can find more information about them and their music at uh, www.newmiddleclass.com. So guys, take it away. Hello. Thanks, Rich. Thanks for going through our intro. Um, so we're happy to be here tonight, and um, we're going to start with a very new song. Uh, to celebrate spring and it's it's about horticulture so I guess what I'd like to say about that is that some people have a green thumb and others do not there's a plant on my windowsill reminds me of you it's not looking so good And there's nothing I can do Every day I cry And I ask myself why I tell myself don't water dead plants Don't water dead plants Was a garden of Eden With you in my dreams But sometimes paradise run dry it's pointless to cry i tell myself don't water dead plants no don't water dead plants i know that everything dies someday let it go it's time to move on i say this will be the saddest of years season with the flavor of salty tea Now those roses are nothing but a 
dried out bouquet and the windowsill plan looks like the ghost of romance so don't water dead plants no, don't water dead plants i tell myself don't water dead plants don't water dead plants ah oh, cool song very nice <laughs> good philosophy beautiful <laughs> that's great Thank you. Yeah, really humorous too. That was great. Well, I just wanted to say that um, this shirt is probably about um, 10 years old. That's all? At least, at <laughs> least. This guitar, I believe, is, um, is 50 years old. But this cap is almost new. <laughs> so that is how I keep up to date. And it ain't easy. Clock says it's nearly closing time. Almost everyone has gone. It's just you and me and some other guys Yeah, we're still stubbornly hanging on But where in the world did the world go? Seems like nothing's like it was before When I look at a map on your smartphone and Some countries are not there anymore What's the matter with the way it was? Tell me where did all the good things go? Walls falling in, world spinning out of control. Oh, what's the matter with the way it was? What was wrong with how it used to be? Wish that I could turn back time or make it pause. What's the matter with the way it was? Now I know how the dinosaurs felt when the sky began to fall. And while Ice Age ice was melting, Neanderthals were scrawling on the walls, though they could not read what they had written. That did not discourage them at all. In centuries of never-ending human progress Leave me feeling primitive and small What's the matter with the way it was? Why obsess about the latest thing? Here comes another year I feel what the future brings I want to know what's the matter with the way it was I remember how it used to be Seems to me that life was all right in spite of its flaws. What's the matter with the way it was? Now I miss the 60s, the 70s, the 80s. Guess I never thought I'd miss the 80s. The 90s were just foreplay for Y2K. And everybody knows the world ended that day. What's the matter with the way it was? What's so great about the here and now? Won't you pour another drink? Can't think with the music so loud. No, no, it doesn't matter how they say it was. Keep those crazy kids away from me. Maybe that's the reason my head hurts the way it does. What's the matter with the way it was? What's the matter with the way it was? What's the matter with the way it was? Woo! <laughs> great lyrics. That's, uh, that's great. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Okay, so I am now going to pass you on to uh, Stuart to find out a little bit more about you and uh, your music. Stuart, take hey. it away. 
Hey, yeah, great. I, hey, I was just tapping my feet and moving. I was probably going out of the frame, you know, I was going so far. <laughs> so uh, new middle class, tell me, first of all, first of all, I, it feels like you guys have been together forever for a long time. <laughs> how long forever and a day. That's and what a day. I say. What, it, what, how long? Way, what are we talking, 30 years, 20 years? We met 1977. Yeah. So it's been a while. You do the math. <laughs> Yeah, uh, those were the good old days, like your song says, what's the matter with them? That's great. And how about the name New Middle Class? Because I, I like that a lot. It, it, to me, it shows that you're, you're current, like the hat, right? But you're, uh, you know, you're looking, looking back and forward. So where where'd that name come from? Uh, yeah, we, 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 we didn't want to make up a, a name that sounded like some, somebody else. We, we figured, let's, let's have a name that's more like us. And yeah. uh, and also, you know, sometimes we do material that's uh, a little more socially conscious as well. Right. So uh, it, it kind of that's the name we, we, we picked back then and, and we're stuck with it. So I'm glad yeah. you like it. Yeah, I do like it. And I like your energy and positive feel. You must be you, your show must be really entertaining. Do you have a regular following of folks that come out to your shows? People show up. Yeah, and, yeah. and they seem really to enjoy nice. it. They yes. tap their toes also. Yeah. Yeah. All ages? You getting all, all age groups out? Hmm. Just curious. We have a mix. We make okay. our children come. They're a different <laughs> Good. age. Good. Um, <laughs> That's see. what they're there for. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the times, um, you know, we play all original music. Uh -huh. And uh, a lot of the clubs that... Um, that cater to that seem to be skewing towards an older audience. So, uh, yeah. so probably that's the way our audience ends up. But um, sure. we're also on like at this point, maybe about 60 radio stations. And uh, so people from all that's ages right. and all over the world do get to listen to our Excellent. music. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you have an international following. That's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people. So um, I'm also looking at the deeper meaning in, in your songs. I, I, that second one, you know, what's the matter with the way it was, is pretty straightforward. I, I can understand that one more. <laughs> the other one, don't water dead plants, is, is, is that a metaphor for a lot of things in life? Uh, just curious. That's what I think. Yeah. You know, um, yeah, it actually, yeah. Yeah, it actually started um, uh, when I was in a museum and, and I saw... I saw, a, I think it was a, a drawing of, of a, you know, stick of a dead plant. And I said, oh, this looks kind of cool. What's the name of this? And on the bottom it said, don't water dead plants. <laughs> so immediately that went into my notebook. And, and beyond that, you know, just uh, the metaphor grew the way that dead plant did not. Yeah, that's, that's great. Well, I, I uh, what was I going to say here? Yeah, there's a sense of humor comes through in, in your in your plan, I, is that how important is that to you to keep it light and and uh, enjoyable with with your messages? Well, I think the way we structure our shows, we we actually have some very devastating ballads. Right. So we play we play funny. these light ones and then we kind of sneak up on <laughs> you with, yeah. with the heavy yeah. stuff. Then, then we yeah. So we we kind of keep it balanced up and down, sure. mm, but we good. do have a lot of uh fun stuff i mean good. the whole the yeah. whole all the shows are fun just They're feels fun. good but you oh, get a range yeah. of emotion and yeah, we, we, get we try to, to yeah we try to a, ra a range of emotion we do when we do it yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, we try to bring you in on a high note uh yeah. take you out on a high note and in between Make you, you go down to the depth <laughs> beat, beat the heck out of you yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's great who's the primary songwriter are you both songwriters? Uh, i'm a songwriter mike yeah okay great um I wanted to ask you about what's the matter with the way it was. You, do you ever have young people come up and and question you about that song? I've I've had this in some of mine because I'm always singing about the way it was and wonderful old things, and they come up and say, "Can you sing something about something new?" <laughs> Actually, we've very rarely played that song out, so okay. I I can't answer that question. But if if a young person does come up to me, the the first thing I'm going to say is. Get off of my lawn. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's a positive thing. That's a great song. Both of them are wonderful. I want to thank you very much for playing them today. Now I'm going to turn you back to Rich. Turn it back <laughs> over. Thanks for having Thanks. us. Thank you. All right. Great. Yeah. Great, great tunes. All right. So we are heading now. We're heading down south. From New York, we were going to Chapel Hill, North Carolina, where we're going to listen to T.M. Smith. And uh, Tim tells us that his favorite open mic 
is at Yonder Bar on Tuesdays in Hillsboro, North Carolina. So uh, take it away, TM. Hey, how are you guys doing? Thanks so much for having me back again. I went to the Folk Alliance International Conference in Kansas City. Had a great time. If you ever get a chance, go to it. Oh my gosh, it's, it's sensory overload at its best. But after it, in Kansas City, I got in a rent-a-car and I drove to a very large twine ball in Cocker City, Kansas. It had been on my bucket list of places to go because I had a song about the two guys who were competing in a weird way. This story begins about 1953. And how he got started, you can search me. He just got it in his head. That's what we're told. But soon Francis Johnson of Darwin, Minnesota was on a roll. And why, oh why would you spend your time rolling away on that big ball of twine? Why can't none of you It might be meaningless, but it's me. Can you imagine how much work to do to get from two foot eight to eight foot two? Hour after hour day after day for 25 years he was rolling away and why oh why would you spend your time rolling away on that big ball of twine and why can't none of you Might be meaningless, but it's me. You know, he did it by himself, clear to the end, and it weighed nine tons and stretched eleven foot ten. And now it sits in a gazebo. Uptown. It's a monument to what you can't put down. And why, oh, why would you spend your time rolling away on your ball of twine? Why can't none of you all see? It might be meaningless, but it's me. Didn't I mention something about Kansas? Man, I almost forgot that part. A man in Kansas heard about that quest. and set about to make his own spheroid the best. But tragedy struck in 1974 when that Kansas man died. He was one foot short. But raise your 
your glass I'll drink to the guy who rolled the world's second biggest ball of twine why oh why would you spend your time Very cool. Very cool. Love that. Almost uh, Randy Newman. Really great. Very nice. Oh, thanks so much, fellas. I'm going to try a, a pretty new one that I've only done out a couple of times, but people liked it. And I see that people are in my demographic looking at me in Zoom windows. So maybe it'll work here, too. Forty years ago, my mom gave me this cookbook. The title of this song is the same as the title of the cookbook. I call this song Family Favorites of the Ladies of St. Sebastian. Chapter 3, Salads. Page 17 and 18, cherry cola salad, cherry jello, yes, takes two small boxes, mix cherry pie filling into that concoction, then add water, it takes half a cup and on the stove you then dissolve it all up when it cools add the coke about half a can add crushed pineapple and a handful of pecans when it's set add the cool whip and let them all try it and it's healthy it's a salad don't even think about trying to deny it it's from that old church recipe book potluck poetry on every page it's a mite scary what they used to cook but it's my memories of a bygone age chapter four vegetables page 39 hash brown casserole two pounds frozen hash browns thawed garlic powder teaspoon of Lowry salt one stick of oleo eight ounces cheddar cheese cream of chicken soup one can's what you need in a large pan mix everything in it 300 degrees for about 90 minutes put it out everybody knows that stuff's good eating it's a hot dish casserole nobody's beaten from that old church recipe book potluck poetry on every page it's a mite scary what they used to cook 
But it's my memories of a bygone age Chapter 6 Cakes, Cookies, and Desserts Page 74 Cherry Dump Cake Mix all ingredients in the order above Do not mix them Oh, you'll mess it all up Get out your favorite 9 by 13 pan And dump the, the crushed pineapple and cherry pie filling right in Next dump yellow cake mix Just the powder from the box Then dump half a stick of melted margarine on top the nuts and the coconut they are optional 354 an hour and you know it'll be phenomenal from that old church recipe book Potluck poetry on every page. I might scary what they used to cook, but it's my memories of a bygone age. I bring those dishes to potluck parties just for fun. To see the present day reactions Keep the recipe One foodie friend said he reckoned While admitting he'd already been back For seconds from that church recipe book Poetry on every page. I might scary what they used to cook, but it's my memories of a bygone age. Precious memories from a bygone age. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great, great lyric. Great yeah. song for great lyrics. Oh, it makes me hungry just uh, thinking about that song. All right, Tim, let me pass you on now to uh, Stuart so we can find out a little bit more about you and, and maybe that song. Yeah. All right, Stuart, take over. We do want to hear more about that song. T yum yum. Uh, you, you know, it's pretty much you know, it, it's yeah. pretty much verbatim. You know, from, from the book. You know, Is there, I, so there's a real I, book and uh, from a real. Yeah, so the real book is called. Uh, uh, it's called Family Favorites of the Ladies of Saint Sebastian, Saint Sebastian wow. Catholic Church in Waverly, Illinois, population 1400. Wow. My mom sent it to me, and, and I looked at all these recipes, and I go, man, you know, it, it is kind of. It puts you in a place, you know, to yeah. look at those. My daughter yeah. and I, every Thanksgiving, we'll, we'll pull it out and just like kind of bend over laughing because, yeah. you know, like a salad can't be a salad without mandarin, oranges, sour cream, you know, and, 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 you know, and, yeah. and marshmallows, you know. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but so you're, uh, you're, both both your songs are about the past. You, do you, yeah, do you I, kind of, kind of, I decided to get a little uh, nostalgic about yeah. it. You know? okay. So I do have a song that, uh, on I did a recording and you can find it on Spotify and if you look for T Yum T E E Y U M you'll find me if you know Tim Smith my God you know how many guys will you find in my home yeah. in Chapel Hill alone there's a much better musician named Tim Smith <laughs> yeah. but uh, if you go to go T Yum Smith 
you'll find my song that's called uh, They Don't Make Things Like They Used To Because They Used to Suck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so that's, that. a, that's maybe yeah. the opposite. I'm glad I didn't pick that song for tonight. That might have clashed with the one previous. Yeah. I, you know, your your first song. What was the name of that? Uh, On a roll or? Uh, uh, it's called the Twine Ballad. Twine uh, ballad. It, it could what? be the Twine mm -hmm. Ball ad, but yeah. if you take the space away, it's the Twine. You your songs are, are seeped in history, the two that we heard, and, and yeah. just really take you along. I had a feeling I was at the library for Story Day, you know, Story Day. Oh, thank you. It was thank great. You. And your rhymes are, like we were saying, they're, they're kind of all over. Um, and and I don't know, you, you don't seem to have to have a clear rhyme, but it works. Well, well you know, it, it was the, uh, that second song especially, you know, yeah. I was, I, I had to, to force a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, kind of those those rhymes like cheer and idea, yeah, right, you, know? Right, right, yeah. <laughs> you know. But uh, what do you got to do? I, you know, there, it, it's funny, you know, like that. You could have a lot of discussion sometimes about whether it's better to have a perfect rhyme or better meaning, you know. Yeah. Right. I always kind of. You're right. There is there is yeah. an awful lot of stretch there. Yeah. But there's such a warm feeling to both of those songs. Thank you. Um, and what I liked on the first one uh, about the twine was it, it's me, you know. So there's a real meaning in there is that, you know, we spend a lot of time in our lives doing things. And, uh, you know, we're doing them because no one else can do it like us, right? You know, I don't want to judge the guy. I mean, it'd be yeah. pretty easy to say, God, how could you spend like all that time and doing that? But yeah. what if I, what are, is anybody talking about me? You know, right. everybody's talking about yeah. him. Yeah, fascinating. Yeah, where do you, once again, where do you play out? Where do you... I, you know, I, uh, I do a lot. Of, I do occasionally do some uh, like songwriters in the round kind of things right. around here. I just got to, to do one last night at this little town called Bynum, North Carolina, which is okay. like the town that time forgot. And mm -hmm. and I go to uh, that open mic that I mentioned in Hillsboro, which is a really good listening one. You know, I've been to open mics where where like the the people who are performing don't listen to the other folks yeah like they should but yeah. this one people are people who are do are participating really do a good job of listening yeah that's what we're all about at oma for sure it's uh i'm here to listen and learn from you so that was great thank you Jim. oh i appreciate, appreciate being it. here thank you uh, i'll turn you back over to uh rich all right thanks guys Great songs, great songs. All right, we are heading out west, not all the way out west, but a little bit out west to Arkansas, to Fayetteville, Arkansas, uh, where we are going to listen to uh, Ellis Ralph. Uh, he performs at the monthly open mic at Omni Center for Peace, Justice, Justice and Equality in uh, Fayetteville. And also Jack Williams' monthly open mic for songwriters at the Folk School in Fayetteville, Arkansas. So Ellis, it's all yours. Okay. Thanks. I'm going to switch to viewing the gallery so I can see y'all, y'all. I don't want to be looking at me. Yeah. I'm, uh, I have a list of my songs and where I played them. And so I know that I played this here before, which I never do, but I need to make an exception of this one. I, I keep telling the song that it's retired and the song keeps saying, no, I ain't. So, uh, uh, apologies and asking for forgiveness. Ellis, you don't have original sound on. Uh, thank you for jumping in there. Yeah, that's true. Uh, the message that shows that it's being live streamed. Right. So stretch, stretch the screen out a bit and then you'll see the original top yeah. left. Down. Yeah. Make sure your screen's large enough. Otherwise it's hidden. You're right. You can't see it. Mm -hmm. I cannot see that. So uh, move your cursor all the way up to the top. Oh, that sounds a little better. That's much better. 
All right. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Get off my lawn.
one and the same Yes Then and now Donald praised his old man Fred Whenever he spoke of the roots that bred his legacy Ironically, he hotly said on Fox TV I don't have a racist bone in my body Folks and girls need to sing about the things Folk need to think about the change We need to bring about the who and the when and how Woody Guthrie showed us how to speak Hey now. Nice. <laughs> Great lyrics. Two thumbs up. Mm. Yep. Should be retired, that song. From where we stand it seems quite still Relentlessly rotating endlessly Guess it always will Always not just lying there. It's also grooving down the road. It's moving over the horizon where we're all trying to move our load. We 
We smoothly cruise in our fantastic machines of glass, plastic, and steel. We got non-stop black top as far as you can see, so it's guaranteed to be under our Excellent. All right, let me pass you on to uh, Stuart so we can uh, learn a little bit more about your new music. Yeah. Wow. Where do I start? Some pre pretty heavy messages in there. Wonderful songs. Really great. Um, I like that line, folk singers sing about the things folks need to think about. Do you, are all your songs kind of uh, full of message, full of... Full of um, what those two have in them kind of no i think it's i think they vary a lot yeah you just write ballads sometimes just for the sake of writing um i write ballads sometimes yeah. uh, you know I try to write a variety of stuff it's really limited because um uh, my guitar ability yeah. is limited and so i end up doing a lot of uh Three chords, iambic pentameter stuff, yeah. you know. Your guitar sounded great. That, that was the next question I had was, that finger style is kind of unique and very gentle on the strings, it looked like. Are you using a, a light gauge or a nylon string? It's not nylon, but it's... No, it, they're lights. Yeah. They're 11s. Yeah, sounded, sounded good. And I love your style, the way the thumb bounces around up and down. And then there's a little strumming in there too. But I uh, thought that was powerful. Thanks. Yeah. Do you play with others, or are you a solo guitarist? Solo. I I'm a hobbyist, and um, I I uh, I'm just here in my room most of the time, and um, and uh, I don't really have any uh, I don't really have any chops for jam, and I I can't I <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't have any theory or anything, and so you do, uh, you do your I thing. I like to yeah. I like to write a lot of songs. Yeah. I noticed also your melodies are very interesting. They're not, you know, one, three, five kind of country melodies. They jump around a little bit, and then the, the choruses are very interesting. Um, so musically, they're they're interesting, and 
I was wondering, uh, what do you write first? You write your lyric, or do you do you play the play the riff and? I, if I have a melody first, you know, it's fun because yeah. then you can decide what does that melody feel like it's about and mm -hmm. uh, what goes with that, and and you can backfill a lyric structure into a melody, and mm -hmm. it's fun. I sometimes lyrics come first, and then they end up being more. Um, uh, usually end up being more of a regular structure and then I end up with some three chord country song or something mm -hmm. and, and uh, but it's you know those two songs were melody first and and they're fun like that mm -hmm. yeah. yeah I I, I loved them I uh, I know what it's like to be in my basement and just play my my songs and write my songs and play them for me it is fun to get out and play I, have you played those two out before? Yes. Uh, open um, mics, yeah. The second one is kind of new, and um, it's funny, you know. Um, we, uh, Judy and I also play at a couple of uh, songwriter critiques. One of them is hosted at our house, and one okay. is at the folk school here in Fayetteville. Yeah. And um, and. There's a big difference between playing for yourself and deciding whether you think it's good, whether you think it's finished. And then when you play it for other people, you really get to feel whether right. it lands or not. And in a critique, um, you can hear what people didn't get. Like, I didn't know what you were getting at, and you didn't mm -hmm. understand that, so you can mm -hmm. tweak it a little. And just emotionally, it's much more fun to play for people. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And to play. To no, I agree. I, I like that yeah. feedback. Yeah. One last question for you. Song retirement. What does retirement of a song feel like to you? You just you just put it away and never play it or? Well, I, I mean, I have some songs that I never play because they sort of don't thrill me. Yeah. But that song about Woody and Trump yeah. um, I, is one of the few songs I have that I like that I'm really looking forward to not playing yeah. it anymore. Yeah. Well, thank, yeah. thank you for playing it tonight. I, uh, it's very pertinent to the world around us right now. It's just right now. Song. That's daytime television tomorrow morning. All right. Hey, thank you. That was appreciate it. Thanks, I'm going to turn you back to Rich. All right, Ellis. Great songs. And I hope you never stop playing that song. Because there's a big message in that song. Anyway, move, moving on. We are now going to go out west, way out west. We're going to Ashland, Oregon, and we're going to hear Marjorie Winter. And uh, Marjorie's uh, going to be performing at the Jacksonville, Oregon Historic County Courthouse on May 5th and June 16th. And both of those are at 11 a.m. So Marjorie, you're on. Hi. Yeah, I really enjoyed all of these songs. Um, okay, uh, so I'm, my first song is Life Gets in the Way. A really short start on that novel, but life gets in the way. I gotta, gotta work and grovel and life gets in the way I'd love to travel overseas but life gets in the way Instead I'm cleaning on my knees and life gets in the way Hey, hey, and life gets in the way Hey, gotta pay the bills Instead of Roman hills Gotta find the food and drink sometimes, I think. My life is sinking down the drain. Then you show up, my sweet refrain. My life gets in the way. My life gets in the way. When life gets in the way, hey, hey, when life gets in the way, hey. 
I should slow down and meditate. But life gets in the way. Instead, it seems I'm always late. And life gets in the way. Hey, hey. And life gets in the way. Gotta pay the bills instead of roaming hills. Gotta find the food and drink. Sometimes I think my life is sinking down the drain. Then you show up, my sweet refrain. When life gets in the way. Life gets in the way, but when I see you, it all has meaning. Let life get in the way, just in time to keep from screaming. When life gets in the way, hey, hey, when life gets in the way, hey, gotta pay the bills instead of Roman Hills. Gotta find the food and drink Sometimes I think My life is sinking down the drain Then you show up my sweet refrain When life gets in the way When life gets in the way When life gets in the way when life gets in the way, I should start on that novel, but life gets in the way. Instead, I've got to go to work and grovel. When life gets in the way, and life gets in the way. Thanks. Uh, this is on a series of uh, of uh, songs that I call unsolicited advice. Um, and this is another one of that ilk. Where to pare down to 
what's truly at stake. When you're nervous, please breathe deep. The road for everyone gets real steep. Cars, bullets, words, whatever they're throwing. Remember an experience, we're all still growing. When you're anchored, don't take that leap. I know you love me, but don't make me weep. It's hard to take back whatever's been said, even or especially with whom you share a bed. Take things slow when you're hurried, slow when you're grieved, slow when you're in love, or even just relieved, slow when you're happy the way we'd like to be, to appreciate the good things. Slow is what you need, what you need, what you need, what you need, what you need. What you need, what you need, what you need, what you need, what you need. Beautiful. Nice. All right, Marjorie, very nice. Let me uh, pass you over to uh, Stuart now, and we can learn a little bit more about you. Hi, Marjorie. Hi. Thank you for those songs. That's great. That last one made me kind of think you're you're learning and experimenting with the guitar still. You know, I mean, I've been playing for forty years. And some of those things you were doing, the harmonics and the, the, the melodic changes, uh, are hard to do. Um, are you, have you been playing guitar for many, many years? Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, I have. <laughs> yeah. I got to yeah. Are you musically trained? Uh, kind of. I'm, I didn't major in music. I play mandolin also. I played mandolin mm -hmm. last time. Um, yeah, yeah. And, um. Um, yeah, I've taken some music classes, um, but I didn't major in music, and, um, um, yeah. Yeah. Why, why, why do you do this? This is a hobby, right, for you? Yeah. Music? Yeah. And, uh, what, what, what moves you? I, I liked your title. Is that the title of an album, Unsolicited Advice? Is that what you said? No, no. no. Maybe is... I should sometime do that yeah is, is that feel like what music is about a little bit to share share things um with i like to ballads too and i like to sing yeah. covers too and um yeah. um yeah i've written some ballads and you know stories uh yeah yeah i do so, yeah. yeah um so yeah, that's uh, what I you know what I do. I um, 
really um, didn't have much time before a couple of years ago to uh, mm -hmm. do some performances and uh, yeah. How um, often do you do you get out now and play? Well, uh, I had some health issues, so I had some surgery, yeah. and uh, I didn't start playing again really until last month. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm um, glad you're back, yeah. Yeah, I, I couldn't really sit down to yeah. play the guitar. Um, so, yeah. Um, yes. It's a funny story. You said you're performing at the county courthouse. Is that like in um, the courthouse? Yeah, yeah. It is. It was a courthouse. And um, uh, then uh, there, it's, it's outdoors on a porch. And yeah. it's just, uh, sponsored by the Southern Oregon Songwriters. Southern Oregon, yeah, some Southern Oregon spot, uh, Songwriters. Yeah. And um, so, uh, yeah. The, so that's and then I, I have sung in open mics and yeah. other stuff like that. Uh, well, you know, I'm right up here in Vancouver, Washington. So um, I'm, I'm doing some songwriters groups, too. It really, really, I find they help a whole lot to be associated with other songwriters. Do you find that yeah. true? Yeah. 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 Uh, I also um, do some with online with um, Southern Oregon songwriters yeah. in Yosemite. Uh, songwriting retreat. Oh, that's great. What do you what do you work been... What are you working on right now? Do you have a song in the works? Uh, usually there's several. Um, yeah. yeah, and I I uh, do a lot of editing of songs, of yeah. my songs. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's one called "You Are My Home." <laughs> Mm -hmm. There's one I'm thinking of called "I Want a Strong Man, I Want a Con Man," but I, you know I don't know. Um, Can't wait to hear it. <laughs> I don't know if that'll ever. Yeah. You know, we'll we'll see. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, so yeah. That's great. I I for, the feeling from your songs is that um, is something I'm working with, and songs writing songs helps me evaluate my life a little bit um and you know when you're when your last song i'm trying to remember your last song the, the lyrics but the life the point, gets in the way yeah life gets in the way and you find yourself so busy you're so crazy um that all these things go by and you don't travel you don't do all those things and and then you write a song about it and to me when i do that the song is like releasing in a way and helps me perhaps see my life differently. I don't know if that's true for you. It is true, but it's not always autobiographical. Uh, yeah. People tend to assume that everything a songwriter writes is autobiographical, and it isn't, and I'm sure that's true sure, with sure. a lot of people. I mean, I I traveled a lot when I was younger, and, um, um, you know, um, it's not great environmentally. But you know, I who who can I say, lecture someone else when yeah. I traveled so much? So it's, um, you know, and and it's you know it's great to, uh, uh, well, you know, every everybody um, people can look at things and uh, see another life in a song or in a movie or mm -hmm. another creation, a, vis yeah. a, a visual yeah. creation. Yeah. And uh, that's a way of traveling too. Yeah. Well, it's great. I enjoyed your songs. Thank you, Marjorie. Appreciate it. I'm going to turn you back over to Rich. All right. Thanks, Stuart. And thank you, Marjorie. So, we are now going to um, head back to, we had so much fun in Arkansas before. We're going to head back to Fayetteville, Arkansas, and we're going to listen to Judy Neal, <clears throat> and who also performed at the monthly open mic at Omni Center for Peace, Justice, and Equality in uh, Fayetteville, and also performs at Jack Williams' monthly open mic for songwriters at the uh, Folk School in Fayetteville, Arkansas. So, Judy, you're up. Thank you. Thank you. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Ellis and I also play uh, Catbird Cafe, an online open mic that we love, and um, Music Matters, and, and we're glad to be back here. Thank you very much for having us. Lavender fields as far as we could see Remember when we walked between The cultivated rows of blossoms and bees It was like a dream Today we drink the fine red wine from local vineyards. We share our stories and our songs till nighttime turns to day to the gentle strumming of our guitars. wrote that just a few weeks ago and so love singing it you know how we love our latest songs <laughs> um, this one I wrote a few years ago and never played it and um, with our songwriting critique group that Ellis talked about um, I got some help and changed it dramatically uh, so I think you're the first ones to hear it since it got changed. This is a song to the muse. And the muse, the name of the muse of music, there are nine muses, and the, the Greek name for the muse of music is Euterpe. So this is a song to Euterpe. Pegasus, the winged horse, flew from the clouds to earth, where each hoof touched upon the ground, a sacred spring was birthed. Nine immortal sisters 
rose from the waters clear. Nine daughters of the King of Gods, nine muses did appear. You terpy fair and beautiful is the muse I call upon. You give the gift of poetry, you give the gift of song. Come down from Mount Olympus above the golden sky. You terpy, play your flute for me. You terpy, hear my cry. Be my inspiration, the answer to my plea. My heart and soul are open. Play Beside my glass of wine, softly strumming my guitar, trying to find a line. I light a candle, call your name, and say a little prayer. I know that if I'm quiet, somehow you'll be there. The setting sun, the rising moon, Orion way up high. And still I wait for a sign and breathe a little sigh. It's been a while since I have called. I think I lost the key. If I say I'm sorry, will you? Come to me. Be my inspiration, the answer to my plea. My heart and soul are open. Play your flute for me. Maybe you are sleeping in your mountain. Maybe you're distracted by the haunting pull of love. Maybe you are touching some other singer's soul. Maybe I should leave my pen and walk till I feel whole. When I return from wandering along the forest way will you return from your meandering of the day my pen's dried up the candles out my wine glass has gone dry you terpy one more time i call come to me tonight be my inspiration, the answer to my plea. My heart and soul are open, play your flute for me. All right, thanks, Judy. Let me pass you over to uh, Stuart now so we can find out a little bit more about you and your music. Hi, Judy. That was beautiful, that last one. just. Thank uh, you, Stuart. I, I wrote down lilting, beautiful voice with an incredible range because um, <laughs> you're going down here and then all of a sudden you'll be up there and I go with you, you know. You take, <laughs> you take me with you. Thank you. I wasn't quite sure I was going to make it each time. I know. I know how that feels. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you. Do you it, it sounds almost uh, spiritual. I mean, the song, the you, you terpy, of course, is is uh, 
uh, Greek mythology, right? It, right. Yeah. yeah. But um, but are you? Do you sing in church? Is that part of your singing? Is uh, spiritual? No. 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 Mm. But um, I I really appreciate your intuition about spiritual. Yeah. Um, that's really central to me. Is uh, to be in touch with what's spiritual and songwriting for me is a spiritual practice. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. And so I, I really, you know, I don't believe necessarily that there's a being named Euterpe, but I absolutely do believe that if we open ourselves to inspiration, however you want to call that, source or God, or Rumi talked about being the hollow reed through which right. inspiration could come through, that that is a way of songwriting, not for everyone, but it's very much that way for me. Oh, beautiful. When when you're sitting down to write, is there a, a ritual or, or something you do to get yourself ready to receive? Because your songs <laughs> talked about receiving. A lot. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that song, in, and when I'm at my best, I do what that song says. It's like I light a candle yeah. and I clear the space so that mm -hmm. uh, there's not distractions. I might light incense. Yeah. Um, I, it does talk about a glass of wine, which I don't do when I'm songwriting, because yeah. I'd rather stay clear. Yeah. Uh, although maybe my songs would be more fun if I <laughs> did have that glass of wine. <laughs> I have to think it about that. That would be how many glasses of wine, I guess. But, <laughs> <laughs> no, they're beautiful songs. Uh, have you written a, a, a bunch of songs? Are you prolific? Yes, Some, yeah, yeah. Um, and Ellis didn't talk about this, but one of the things he and I have done, I, actually it's so funny, because he and I were both songwriters before we met, and we met at Summer Acoustic Music Week in New Hampshire, and we fell in love instantly. Oh, cool. It's now been 15 years that we're together, and the first few years, neither of us wrote any more songs. Uh -huh. And uh, I joke that, that we didn't know how to write when we were happy. Oh, fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> and then we went to a Waddle Hollow songwriting retreat that uh, Jack Williams and Kelly and Donna Mulholland were running here in Arkansas, which is a wonderful thing, and we'll be going again in a couple of weeks. Great. But we got some prompts, and we wrote songs, and that opened the door again. Yeah. And we now belong to a group called Soul Writers that gets a prompt every week or every month. You get to oh, choose. Wow. And yeah. over the last eight years in Soul Writers, have probably written 200 songs. Fantastic. That's and, wonderful. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, and they're better when I write every week than when I write yeah. every month. It's, there's yeah. a way of being that you can get into as a songwriter. Mm -hmm. It's an identity thing, and that everything becomes yeah. food for thought. You know, it's like the yeah. conversation or seeing a yellow car go down the road. Everything right. is like, oh, that would be good in a song. We're hearing it tonight. Uh, the, the eclectic nature of the songs tonight is, is like yeah. the, people oh, are watching so and looking around. I'm reading yeah. a book right now by Jeff Tweedy, for the, the songwriter for Wilco. It's called Write One Song. And it's just wonderful he does talk about creating space as mm -hmm. you do mm -hmm. uh, for he, he doesn't call it you know divine intervention but uh, it's just more of that openness yeah uh, yeah yeah I like to call it divine intervention and um, I've been reading a book by Ernie Hill called the cosmic dance of melody and lyric oh, which cool. gets very spiritual uh, yeah. in his language yeah. and it just delights me that someone else is as crazy as i am <laughs> talking this weird spiritual language but, aren't we uh, aren't we lucky to do what we do to play uh, and sing it's just... it is a blessing it's so healing i think you talked earlier yeah. with someone we talk about how it we can work our stuff out in songs and mm -hmm. um it is. It's very healing and hopefully healing for others. Well, we're lucky to have been healed by you tonight. Thank you. I so Thank appreciate it. It's beautiful songs. Thank you very much. I'm going to turn you back to Rich. All right. All right. We are moving along here. We are heading back east to nowhere else other than East Patchhog, New York. And we're going to listen to uh, Hank Stone. Uh, Hank is uh, going to be performing, by the way, on May 18th at 1 p.m. at Tiny Raccoon Bookstore in Sayville, New York. 
So uh, until then, we've got uh, Hank right here. He's going to be playing a couple of tunes for us. Go ahead, Hank. How you doing? So this uh, goes back to uh, an influence from the blues. Uh, I don't sing the blues. I don't play much blues, but i obviously influenced by a lot of it. And there's a song by Robert Johnson called Love in Vain. And, oh, quite some time ago, I kind of rewrote it in more like a country style. So this is called... Uh, Robert Johnson knew. Well, I followed her to the station, suitcase in my hand. Tried to have a conversation, but there were no words at my command. Cause it's hard to tell and it's hard to tell But all your love is in vain I didn't know how I felt until I saw that train But Robert Johnson knew Robert Johnson knew Robert Johnson knew what's in my heart When the train came in the station I looked her in the eye I fought off the temptation To tell her another lie Cause it's hard to tell And it's hard to tell But all your love is in vain I didn't know how I felt Until I saw that train Robert Johnson knew Oh, Robert Johnson knew Robert Johnson knew what's in my heart That train crosses a bridge To nowhere that you want to be You pay your fare And you get no guarantee when the train left the station It had two lights on behind Blue light was my blues And you know, a red light was my mind Cause it's hard to tell and it's hard to tell And all your love is in vain I didn't know how I felt until I saw that train But Robert Johnson knew Robert Johnson knew Robert Johnson knew what's in my heart Robert Johnson knew what's in my heart I'm going to switch to a different guitar. Awesome. So, uh, like I said, I don't play much blues, but I did play a lot of rock and roll back in the day. And uh, stuff I'm doing now is more folky, but... Uh, so, uh, this past week we just lost uh, a great uh, performer. Dickie Betts, a uh, great singer, writer, and uh, guitarist. Wait, let me get this fixed up here. <laughs> uh, there we go. Sorry about that. So, uh, I've been playing one of his songs, Melissa, a very popular tune for years. And uh, again, a few years back, I decided to write a song from the viewpoint of Melissa herself, because she's just kind of a nameless, you know, she has a name, but there isn't much about her. It's all about the uh, the gypsy. 
So, uh, so this is uh, the gypsy needs a home. Morning stars fade A chill in the air A crossroads farewell kiss Sunlight shining through their hair The gypsy needs to roam The gypsy needs a home, the gypsy needs a home. Melissa mends his shirt, and she lets the fire burn. Reading from his book of verse She knows he will return The gypsy needs to roam The gypsy needs a home The gypsy needs a home And she gives him her all door through every wall no one to break her fall when she gets that call Freight train at the station Conductor with his lamp She does not feel anything But the cold and the damp No more will he roam The gypsy's coming home Gypsy needs a home No more will he roam The gypsy's coming home The gypsy needs a home pass you over to Stuart and we can uh, learn a little bit more about you and your music hey Hank that was great I loved it I, I was wondering as you were playing it you know that that taking a point of view of someone in someone else's song is a really hard thing to do um, that you pulled it off really well were you we, on the music side of that last song were you kind of channeling the Almond Brothers a little the feeling of it I think you're still muted, Hank. I can't hear you. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. I was uh, using this uh, partial. partial capo, you know, it only covers three of the strings. And I was using that for a version when I was singing Melissa. I had my arrangement using that. And one day I just moved my fingers around a little, a little different chords. And I said, oh, this, this could work. And uh, so. Sounded good. Your rock roots are coming out. I mean, both those songs. <laughs> Right, yeah. they could they could go into some pretty heavy guitar solos in there. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping to get a band. I just went to a uh, a friend of mine had a CD release party uh, the other night, and uh, he had a nice rocking band with him. And I'm thinking, hmm, I got some songs that would work with this, so yeah. we're gonna talk. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like the melodies in your in your tunes. Those two tunes, that was great. They're just good. Uh, the first song, 
you started out, I followed her to the station. I did a, I did a class with a guy who talked about, actually Ken Gaines talked about first lines of songs. Mm-hmm. I thought that was an excellent first line. Um, well, I stole it. You know, it's yeah. <laughs> about half of the lines are from the Robert Johnson song. So, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So and, I followed her to the station as a Robert Johnson lyric. Yeah, that's yeah. Oh. It's most of it. And I took about maybe, yeah, maybe half of it, you know, is, uh, and then I, I extended, some, you know, made it a little, yeah. gave it a little more story. So, so are you a audio audiophile kind of guy? You listen to music uh, from you said back in the day. Do you listen to a lot of music and try and learn? Uh, I don't. I probably don't listen as much as I used to. I mean, I had at one point, you know, major record collection and uh, divested of that. And now I'm finding I have still have a whole bunch of CDs, <laughs> yeah. and they take over. But I'm trying to organize and get rid of stuff I don't need. And yeah. I, I do listen to streaming and stuff, but uh, more like I'm trying to concentrate on my own stuff now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going kind of the other way. i um, been sitting, writing songs, wanting to learn covers because it challenges you, right? And in, in a way that writing your own stuff for me has become easier. <laughs> but Allman <laughs> Brothers, I mean, that's, that's really, really great. So did you, when you were younger in the day, did you go out and hear these bands? I did see the Young, Allman Brothers at the Fillmore East <laughs> oh, wow. uh, before before they did the album from the you know it was a previous appearance and uh, yeah. So you and, you said you were a, a rocker. Do you have a band right now? Not currently. I've been uh, in, in between things. Things keep falling apart and stuff. But uh, I'm working on a, a new album, and we'll see what happens after that. If I have, I've got uh, a lot of different people coming in to do. Uh, tracks on here but uh so you're stay doing tuned. at home you're doing it at home recording no this is uh with a uh, paradiddle records which is a local uh group they've been doing uh tribute albums to bob dylan and to the kinks and to uh, willie nile and nancy griffith they've done a whole okay. bunch of tribute albums i've been uh, fortunate to be on some of those so i i've been working with them and he said hey why why don't we do an album of your songs i said i'm all for it you know? oh, great. So, can't wait to hear you're gonna to have to come come back out and perform some here for us let me just ask you I about album it. real quick um if if you're doing an album do you try and write songs specifically for the album or do mm. you just go back and find what you've done no i pretty much do what i've you know what i've had on in fact the first one i did uh I did. I started doing stuff, some of my best stuff at the time, my current repertoire. And then, of course, in the year and a half it took to get it done, I wrote about three or four more songs that had to be on the record. So that, and that's generally what happens. I uh, the third album, the last one that I finished, was done with a band, and we had our arrangements that we were doing pretty much for a couple of years. So we knew we went in. It was a quick thing. We just got the tracks down, and you know, well, good. This good time, luck, it's more. good luck with that project. I. I just love your melodies um, and your your stories and drawing from from history. Um, I was I was sitting here googling Robert Johnson and Dickie Betts, you know, and reading up. <laughs> that, there's so much songwriting material uh, in the past uh, that we can pull from. So, thank you, Hank. Thank you, Stuart. Take care. Bye bye. Back to you. All right, back to me. And you know what? We are at our last performer for tonight. Had, had some really great performances tonight. And we are getting ready now to go to Chester, New Hampshire. That's right. Chester, New Hampshire, <laughs> home of the Fretbenders. Fretbenders are playing with their band at the Nippo Lake Golf Course Bluegrass Series, 6 to 8 p.m. on Sunday, April 28th, in lovely Barrington, New Hampshire. And on May 4th, they're playing at Francistown Coffee House, also in New Hampshire. And Diane is also exhibiting art at that coffee house. And a favorite uh, coffee house that they like to play at is High Street Coffee House in, um, I'm not, I know I'm not going to say this right, Bosco in New Hampshire. Close. And, yeah, not bad. Yeah. Hey, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll have to go there. And uh, they're going to be playing a set there on May 3rd. So, Fred Benders, take us out. Okay, thanks. Um, I, it's always hard to choose a song, but I'm going to do this one. It's uh, Somebody Left Me With The Blues, kind of keeping in the blues um, mode mm-hmm. that, that we had before. 
And thanks for having us too, by the way. It's um, been great listening to everybody. Wonderful songwriting. Oh, and I especially like Tim's song about string ball because my cousin had a <laughs> tinfoil ball that he carried around on the back of a pickup truck so he could show everybody. I, I, exactly I got to hear more about that. <laughs> I think it's due for a song, but I think so. anyway, somebody left me with the blues. <laughs> to a totally different place. I wrote this next one when I had been listening to a lot of John Prine. So, <laughs> and it's also, I uh, always write a valentine for my husband. Isn't that year. nice? So it was kind of a, a valentine's. And I get to too. sing this one. And he gets to sing it, yeah. It's called Turtle Dove. Ready? Two, three, and... Well, you are my dear heart, my one and only. You are moon and stars, I'm never lonely. Just the thought of you, well, it makes me smile. You're the cup of my cake, 
gonna grab my time Won't you be my valentine Oh, won't you be mine Just give me a sign You feel the same You're the foot of my locker You're the fast, I'm the talker you hit the ball out of the park Light the dark, top score in the game If you're looking for love, then I'll be the turtle. You can be my dove, and you're the hum. And I'm the dinger. I want to place a pretty ring on your finger. Will you be my valentine? Oh, will you be mine? Just give me a sign, and you feel the same. You're the foot of my locker. You're the fast, I'm the talker. You hit the ball out of the park, light in the dark, top scoring game. Just give me a sign, you feel the same. You're the foot of my locker. You're the fast, I'm the talker. Hit the ball out of the park, light in the dark, top score in the game. Hit the ball out of the park, light in the dark, top score in the game. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. I love that. A great song, great lyrics. All right, <laughs> let me uh, get you guys over to Stuart, and uh, we can find out some more about. Well, you. hi, Fred Benders. Hello. Howdy. Loved your songs. Thank you. Um, hey. well, that line that just came up was, uh, "You're the food in my locker." Can y'all hear me? Yes. Yep. Yeah, okay. We can hear you. I love I love those uh, those lyrics. You're the food. Compound mama. words. I was having fun with compound words. <laughs> yeah, he, that was great. A couple of things I, I noticed. It's really it. it I want to know is it really hard to play? That's a dobro, right? That is a dobro. Yes. Yeah, play the dobro mm -hmm. and sing. Yes, it's wicked hard. <laughs> I thought I, so. I've only been singing for a few years. Just. That's how hard it was. Well, that's and good. It's a little easier, you said, to sing when you play banjo. I play though, banjo right? too, yeah. 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 You, you can put your fingers on the strings and kind of hold your place, whereas yeah. a dobro, you can't. You, it's all by ear. It, moving by pieces, ear, yeah. I, most people have to look at it. So you've been playing together some time, right? We've how, been married yeah. now 38 years. 38, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And one dark day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been playing almost together and off and on. Yeah, uh, about almost that time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it, it shows in your uh, timing, exquisite timing on your lyrics and <laughs> where you come in together, um, and how long you hold the word "me." I heard that "me," you know, it's just <laughs> perfect. You, it looks like you get a lot of joy out of playing together. Do you do this? Uh, two times, three times a week, or you get out that much, or you just... It, it depends, you know, like last summer we were so busy playing out, we kind of said, gee, we want to take it a little <laughs> easier this summer, we'll see if we can, Yeah. you know, it can get busy. I see. Yeah, I don't you... like to play too much more than once, a, once or twice a week. Yeah. 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 Well, do you stick with the, um, I guess it's a bluegrass genre, right, more than anything? Well, uh, no, blues. We, we you can. did some blues. Oh, it, it, we can we can kill any genre, really. All um, right. I do a lot of swing. I do a lot of oh, swing and blues. It, it depends where we're playing. Like yeah. if it's a bar, we'll do a bar set and we'll do a lot of credence and stuff and covers. Oh, good. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Put on some Bonnie Ray. And then we're doing I a bluegrass show in a couple of weeks. <laughs> we're edging towards bluegrass a lot. Yeah. And, yeah. So it just depends. 
Yep. Is is that the one at uh, Nippo Lake Bluegrass? Yes. 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 Yeah. That's mostly right. bluegrass. We throw in some other ones, and you know, I do some originals too, and. Yeah. Um, and it goes through spells, what, what I end up writing and what we end up playing. It just kind of depends on way, where we happen to be gigging. So right. <laughs> that are, also are you, is a factor. Are you both songwriters? It's just her. Just her. Okay. Well, <laughs> there's still time where you're, you're no spring chicken, but I, I, uh, I stab at it once in a while. Yeah. He wrote one about a fat cat. No, yeah. you don't want to. You don't want to go yeah. there. You yeah. offend all cat owners that way. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, some we have people, a fact. Some people like oh. fact. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I again, I, I said this earlier tonight. Your show must be a load of fun. Um, yet, I imagine your banter. You like to banter with the audience when you're on the stage and have fun. Yeah. Yeah, that that just happens, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and sometimes the band says, oh, what's coming out of her mouth now? <laughs> it's like, we're done tuning, you can stop talking. <laughs> I'm, yeah, so I wrote the song, I'm, so he has to sing, I'm, I'm, you're the fast and I'm the talker, but I wrote the song, She's and the I'm talker. really the talker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, uh, He's thank the you fast for, picker. for sharing those songs and, and the blues and all of that. We've had a lot of blues tonight. I also yeah. want to tell people um, mm -hmm. what I ended up writing tons of songs. I was kind of in a little bit of a slump and every February, I don't know if everyone else is aware of FAWM.org, the February album. Oh, good. Okay. I see some people are February album writing month.org, FAWM.org. Okay. And it's free. Um, and so basically the challenge is, I mean, you do what you can, but the challenge is, and they throw out all kinds of prompts and things like that, and you get encouragement from other people. Um, you get about 14 songs in the month. Wow. And yeah. so I came up with a lot of really good songs that I That's still, good. I have to work out. Um, but right. Turtle Dove right. was one of them, and mm -hmm. I had some other ones too. It was hard it's, to decide which one to do tonight, but, and also our songs are on Spotify um, under the Fret Vendors. Um, yeah. I also have children's music. I, I used to teach children's music, and um, I have a lot of children's music that actually pay for our last vacation good, um, good, on Spotify good. under my name, Diane Excellent. Cordes. So if you have okay. kids what is around the, name the again? house, check it out. Yeah, you, my name you, is what, Diane Cordes, K O R D A S. Yeah, yeah, and if you go to yeah, um, our website, it's a very find... good website, by the way. Everything's oh, out there, it looks really good. So, thanks. I recommend you all go take a look at it. <laughs> Fretbenders.com. Oh. Yeah, you can't miss it. That's a great name, by the thanks, way. Thanks, thanks so for having us. Really keep bending it. those frets. <laughs> and, uh, I'm gonna turn you back to Rich. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Fretbenders. Great tunes. Listen, next time you're on here, though, we want to hear about the fat cat. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm waiting to hear it. Well, it's hard to believe, but we have gone through another show here at Open Mic America. And what a, what a great show it was. Some great performances. So I would like to uh, quickly thank each performer. And as I say your name, uh, a wave to the camera. Uh, I'd like to thank the new middle class. Tim Smith. Ellis Ralph. Marjorie Winter, Judy Neal, Hank Stone, and the Fretbenders. So listen, remember to check our website, openmicamerica.com, for links to the music of all OMA performers. And you can also find archives of uh, all of our shows. Also want to thank uh, Stuart Campbell, tonight's interviewing host, did a great job. And the one and only Capo Dave Williams, tonight's engineer and our founder, um, and I'd like to thank um, people who are watching on YouTube. Uh, we had a number of people watching uh, the live show tonight. And of course, uh, uh, you can watch the show anytime you want to uh, on YouTube uh, later on. And if you like this show, please, please, please spread the word. Don't keep it a secret. We want more and more people to uh, tune into uh, these great performances. Uh, you can um, download and uh, print your own posters from our website and hang them somewhere where folks uh, can see them. 
You can also get a t-shirt uh, through openmicamerica.com. These great t-shirts. I've got one on. Capo Dave has one on. Stuart has one on. You can design your very own t-shirt um, because you can make the logo as large or small as you want and uh, and choose the t-shirt you want. So, uh, you know, get on board and get a uh, Open Mic America t-shirt. So, please check out your local and virtual open mics. Um, we've listed the ones where our performers play under local open mics tab on our website. So we're here uh, first and third uh, Sundays of every month. Um, so our next show is going to be uh, Sunday, May 5th, same time, same station. Uh, stay tuned for the next full lineup of performers. So I want to ask our performers all to please mute and wave goodbye to everyone watching. And um, I'm going to say good night, America. If you meet me at the corner of Russell and Albina, just about a block from Mississippi Avenue, I'll take you to a house where they hang carpets on the wall. And if we go there on a Sunday, there's a song I'll take you through. Mm -hmm.